everybody. We're here with Cynthia of Cynthia's Centuries of Style. She's a milliner and she's going to tell us all the excitement going on in hat making. I'm Susan Shaw from Cool Cleveland. Let me introduce you to Cynthia. Thank you Susan so much for that lovely introduction. Well tell me what would you like to know about hats and feathers and hat blocks? How did they make them? Well, they are literally made from scratch. I've heard that milliners make something out of nothing. And the hat can actually start, to many people's surprise, with flat, this is called straw cloth. It's flat fabric or straw cloth. And this is steamed and stretched over wooden blocks. And what's interesting about this, if you notice that the block is wider at the top than the bottom, mm -hmm. this is a puzzle block. So if you were to pull this off when it dried, the hat would be out of shape. So these actually come apart in pieces. Oh my gosh! So this is a, an historic block. And how and do they get the feathers? The then? feathers. I always say, do you know what? They do not come off the bird looking this way. This, here we have uh, two peacock feathers, and you see the one in my right hand looks like it comes off of fantasy peacock. And these are curled, and milliners used to have assistants called plumassiers, and these were people who curled the feathers. Well, let me tell you, if you think it's hard to find a milliner, it's even harder to find a plumassier. So I've had to learn um, how to curl the feathers myself, which I'm very glad to have done. Did you make the beautiful hat you're wearing? Thank you very much. Yes, yes. I make all of my own millinery designs. And you never leave the house? I never leave the house without a hat. I, I have a great story. Um, in Cleveland Heights, you have to shovel your snow within 24 hours of the snowfall. And I live on a corner lot. And one day, I was out shoveling my snow. And wouldn't you know, a gentleman came by. He not only shoveled to the corner when he got there, he went all the way around. And that's because I was wearing a hat. I, I would like to think it was because of me, but I'm sure it was the hat. Hello, Susan. Now we are in the millinery parlor, and you can see that hats are very much like people. Some have big personalities, some are shy, some are whimsical. So we see, like people, we see hats of all sizes and shapes. Some are fancy, some are tailored. We see hats ornamented with feathers, with veiling. So there is indeed a hat to suit every person and every personality. Cynthia, please tell me about all these beautiful princesses here. Well, I call this Cynthia's princess purse and I do have a trademark on this. And these are actually um, purses and what inspired me, you know, there's so much violence in society. These are purses for a little girl. It looks like a doll, but through the bustle in the back, you open it up and it is actually a purse. Oh my it has gosh. a little hook for their key yeah. and it comes with a gift card encouraging girls to carry kindness and thoughtfulness with them. And in promoting Cleveland as well, the window is based on a window in the home and everything here is made in Cleveland. The box is made in Cleveland, the uh, purses are entirely handmade in Cleveland and I found out they're not just for little girls actually the first person who carried one was an adult woman she was the chairperson of a benefit and I had made her hat for her with this feather so she asked me to make her a princess purse to carry with her so she had a little mini me of her <laughs> at the benefit so they, they are actually for little girls of all ages they're terrific and all Thank with you. their own hats yes too. they can have hats they can have head pieces they can just like people you know we all <laughs> It's not one size fits all. They can be made individually as well. Thank you so much, Cynthia, of Cynthia's Centuries of Design. We've seen a lot of great hats, handmade, designed by Cynthia, and these beautiful princess purses. This is Susan Shaw from Cool Cleveland. Have a Cool Cleveland day.